Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about the iOS 11 beta. Now this is the first beta, so keep in mind that anything here is subject to change. And also, you might see some things that don't work quite well, some bugs here and there. All of that will probably be fixed at some point. So this is just kind of a look at what's coming. All right, so first of all, we have built-in screen recording, which I was really excited about. So you can see this is the new control center here. Um, we're looking at an iPad Air 2 right now. So this is obviously the iPad one. And there is some uh, a lot of cool iPad features coming, which is why I started with the iPad. So you see this button on the bottom right here. Um, what this does is that does uh, built-in screen recording. So I was really excited about that. I was really excited to make my <laughs> make my video directly from my iPad without third-party software. Um, and then I started, then it crashed about a minute later. So <laughs> maybe we'll use that one for beta two. But um, for now, it does. You know, it'll save it right to your photo library, or or there might be a limit on how long you can you can actually do it. I don't I don't know right now. All right. Um, but also, by the way, it crashed, meaning it didn't save the video that I was working on. So that's just something to be aware of. You can see at the bottom there's a dock. Um, down here you can fit a whole bunch of apps. And you can add quite a few. So if we bring uh, Xbox down here, you can see that the dock gets smaller, similar to the way the Mac dock works. Uh, there's no names under the apps, which I'm not a big fan of. Um... Well, mainly because I didn't put most of these apps down there. Uh, just Hangouts, which is over here on the left. So, I I mean, I would imagine that by the time this is done, that, that um, the names will show up there. Uh, we also have some new uh, app logos. You can see that App Store is a little, is redesigned now. They are the... Uh, the logo is the app is redesigned as well. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, you can see down here, this is the iTunes logo. Um, I don't think they're going to keep that. Seems to me like that's a placeholder. I um, they're not using it in the Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra beta. So it seems like for some reason it just kind of and it's it's also very un Apple like. It's not. Usually we have the music logo similar to Apple Music, which you see down here. Um, I'm just I'm kind of holding these icons so you can see what I'm what I'm pointing at since I'm using a screen recorder. Calculator logo is redesigned as well, but we'll look at that when we uh, pull out the iPhone in a bit. We'll see that the notification center is actually normal for some reason, but um, the way it's been working, and the way I could probably show it to you working on my iPhone when we get to that, is that you'll, it'll have you swipe down for notifications, and then it'll have you swipe up again, and it seems like they're going to add something more there, or it's just a temporary bug, but we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so back to this multitasking screen over here. Um, you can see the, the control center on the right. Now... Gone, you can't um, you can't swipe up to uh, get rid of an app anymore. That's just gone. And what you have to do is you have to hold it and manually close these apps, which I'm not a fan of. I've become very used to swiping over the last couple of years, so uh, not cool. Um, we have a bunch of new settings. If we go into Control Center, you can see that there's a bunch of new stuff there. You can um. You can add things. I assume that there's third-party extensibility here because the Apple TV remote is, is not a stock app. Uh, guided access is great if you have kids, so you could easily just turn that on. Um, screen recording is one that you'll have to add manually. So simple as, as that. And um, obviously you could change the order. All right, and those will all show up in the control center. There's the new um, stock wallpaper, which is obviously there's one for every new version of iOS. See, it took a little bit to, to get to that, stuttered a little bit. This is the new stock wallpaper for, um, and we'll just set the home screen as that. Um, moving on, you could set Siri to, to text now, which is interesting. You can actually type into Siri, although it doesn't work quite the way that you would probably hope that it does. So you have to go into accessibility, you can go to Siri, 
and you can say type to Siri. So if I hold the Siri button here, it now just brings up the keyboard and allows me to type into it. It doesn't it would be what I would really like to see is the option where I can type or talk at the same time rather than having to go into settings to pick one. All right, so we could also see that there is a new keyboard. The dark keyboard isn't everywhere, so don't get too excited. I don't know if you remember, there, but there was a beta a while. It was like the iOS 8 beta or something that, that gave you the option for a dark keyboard, and then it just went away. You can see that there's punctuation on the keyboard, the keyboard now, so you can actually pull down on the key and then release. So now that would give you an asterisk. So that's some some cool new features on the keyboard itself. Um, we're gonna turn this off because I'm not gonna keep it. By the way, there there is a bit of a Siri redesign here. So you see, there's a new Siri logo there. Now I'm. <laughs> Who won the 2000 World Series? And now you could ask follow-up questions. Who was their coach? Alright, so you should be able to, to ask follow-up questions. That apparently isn't working just yet. Alright, so um, there's some new camera features in settings. If we could just locate... Photos and camera. See, by the way, photos and cameras are split into two separate sections. Um, that's another thing we're going to look at in the iPhone. But we have formats now. So, all right, so all we have here is automatic or keep originals. You'll see some additional options on the iPhone that we'll, uh, we'll just get to in a bit. Um, iTunes and App Store, there's some new options there offload unused apps so this is automatically going to remove your unload apps but keep its documents and data meaning that um, if you reinstall the app all your stuff will just be there um, I'm not sure how I feel about that I'm not sure how well that's going to app how well that's going to work but we'll uh, we'll find out there's the new files app which uh, is around here so oh well, we could just use the one in the dock um, Nothing shows up as on my iPad. I assume that it, it will as I continue to use it. iCloud Drive recently deleted. You can also um, you can also add Dropbox, Box, uh, OneDrive's going to support it. So um, I mean a lot of good stuff there. I mean actual file management on an iPad is is something that's going to be necessary. Okay, so last thing we'll do before we head over to the iPhone is we will look at the new app store which should be redesigned pretty much uh top to bottom and it landed me in search as you can see it's very different it's i mean i don't even know how to describe it it is just so different um monument valley 2 is out by the way i started playing it today it's pretty cool there's um the game section is all new apps updates is different all right and um all right, so now we'll uh, we'll move on to the iPhone. All right, so here we have the iPhone interface. Um, as you can see down here, we have the uh, control center. It does pretty much the same things, obviously, if there's no multitasking screen. Uh, speaking of that multitasking screen, um, you can see that the home screen is now gone. So if you want to go back to the home screen, obviously your option is to hit the home button. Um, in messages, we have the app drawer down here, which you can just swipe across, and that's new. Uh, we have a slightly redesigned podcast app, which uh, new fonts, uh, subtle changes, nothing really major that you'll notice. I promised you a new calculator app, which you can see right at the top there. A uh, new icon right here, and we'll open it to see that there is a new design to the app, circle circle numbers and such all right um so improvements to the camera you can now scan qr codes so if we just pull this up right here you'll see that it's going to ask if i want to open neowin um just based on that qr code and it, it doesn't you don't have to press any buttons it just kind of automatically does it which is the way it should do it all right um 
Another thing I, I promised to show you the new notification center, which if we swipe down from the top, you can see that it, it just sort of says earlier today and and if I and then there that goes it it really it doesn't work well. it feels really awkward. Um, it locks the phone. I'm not even I, obviously I feel like that's something they're not gonna keep. They might keep it um, that it feels like there's gonna be something something more to that, right? So it says earlier today, but all my notifications come up. so maybe you're gonna swipe down and it'll say earlier today and you can swipe right and it'll say yesterday that that feels like something that makes sense to me. I don't know. Another thing that I promised <clears throat> another thing I promised to show you is the new camera settings in iOS on the iPhone. So if we go in here, we'd see uh, formats, and you could see that we now have uh, high efficiency and most compatible. Uh, so the HEVC format or HEIF, um, those will reduce the file size. Apple says by up to forty percent, but obviously it's not um, supported everywhere. Where JPEGs are supported, well literally everywhere I guess I can't think of anywhere that it wouldn't be so um but they take up more space right there's also an option if we go into the video settings to lock the camera um, this should keep it from automatically switching between the cameras while recording video um, this should just be for the iPhone 7 plus um, I believe it's so that it wouldn't switch between the 1x and 2x cameras um, which personally I often do if you watch my unboxing videos and stuff I'll often I'll have something in a big box and then when I take a little object out of it I'll just swap it right out to the 2x camera because I do record a lot of videos with the iPhone I think it records great video um, so yeah so that's the new camera settings that's all that's there for now um, the slow motion settings are still the same preserve settings that showed up in uh, I want to say 10.3 or 10.4 uh, preserving camera mode and, and live photo so if I turn off uh, preserve live photo setting that would just turn it on every time I launch the camera but that's not new we have some cool photo editing features live photo editing features particularly um, so if I pick a live photo here and see the hesitation before he swings the bat. Um, if I if I 3D touch on it and swipe up, there's a couple options: there's live, loop, uh, bounce, long exposure, which is all pretty cool. Um, if I hit the crop button, I can actually trim the photo, which is something that I've been calling for since since live photos were uh, invented. <laughs> because really, I mean, how often do you get that perfect three second clip? So now if I click done here. And now I hit the live photo, boom, you just get the swing, it's good to go. All right, so um, also there's the new screenshot interface. If I take a screenshot there, you can see it goes to the bottom left. And um, if I open it, I can crop. I have a couple options here of things that I might want to do with it, pick some colors, and I can write on top of the image. It's fantastic. I mean, the, the easy screenshot interface is, is so useful and if I take another screenshot you'll see that that um it just goes right over here so you can put them right next to each other and this doesn't go away you have to swipe it away I mean it's not swiping away from me oh there it goes um, it'll also go away over time but um, it doesn't go away right away and uh, that's the um, photo editing stuff portrait mode should be a little better but uh, yeah that's about it for photo editing but yeah, that's about it. That's all I got for iOS 11. I know it was a lot. There's a lot of features. We'll probably find more. There'll be more in beta 2. Um, so make sure to check back then. Um, and I know I took up a lot of your time, but there, there really was a lot to pack into one video. Um, and that's it. I'm Rich from Neowin, and have a great night.